Hey guys, so today I'm here with a hands-on of iOS 4.2.1. I know this has just been released, I've had a little bit of time to go ahead and mess around with it and test it out a little bit, and I'm ready to give you guys my full overview. Um, so of course 4.2.1 is not going to be a huge update, it's mostly just a lot of smaller things. Um, I've some, a lot of it though is really catered towards the iPod Touch 4th generation in my opinion, just because it, is, it has a lot of speed and stability improvements that were kind of lacking in the previous 4.1. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump right on into what all is new. Uh, so let's go ahead and just open up the web browser. Um, and one of the biggest things is absolutely going to be AirPrint. Uh, now AirPrint is something very similar, uh, simple rather. You can go ahead and print any web page just straight from Safari to your AirPrint enabled printer. Uh, now I do not actually have one of these printers so I actually can't vouch for how well it works. Although there are very few printers that are supported and uh, you can go ahead and kind of there's a little bit of hacky ways to go ahead and enable some other printers but I haven't gotten into that so I really can't tell you. However I can show you how it works. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just go look on this page and do keep in mind this works on you know pretty much any web page don't worry you know obviously you probably want to print out something a little bit better than this. Um, but to go ahead and enable it all you have to do is press down here and you know you get your standard uh, things such as add bookmark etc. Well for now you have an option called print. Now, in print, this is pretty simple. Uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and click this. Obviously, like I said, I don't have any printers hooked up, so normally you will go ahead and just select your own. Then you can go ahead and just select how many copies you want, and then you just click the print button. Um, very simple, but it's a really cool idea to go ahead and allow you to go ahead and print web pages straight from your iPod Touch, your iPhone, and especially your iPad. The next thing is AirPlay. Uh, now, AirPlay is a very, very uh, nice concept. There's not a whole lot you can do with it right now. However, I definitely see later on this is going to be a really nice feature. Basically, what AirPlay does is it allows you to shoot music, movies, as well as photos from your iPod, your iPhone, or your iPad over to a connected device. Uh, now, right now, pretty much the only thing that you can do this with is the Apple TV. Uh, you can also go ahead and stream music through an Airport Express to speakers. Um, but like I said, Apple TV is going to be the main way to do this. So uh, it's pretty simple. You can just go ahead. There's a button in a video. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and show it because there's not a whole lot to point to it. However, AirPlay will definitely be very handy once there are a lot of devices that it does support. Uh, now let's go ahead and move on to probably my favorite feature of 4.2.1, which is speed improvements. Um, so here's on, on iPod Touch 4th generation. I'm going to just open up the camera app. And you can see, boom, already open. Uh, and I'm sure... Uh, you know, if you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch 4th generation, you know that the camera app always takes a very, very long time to load. And indeed, everything is very, quite, very, very fast. So, you know, I can go ahead and just scroll through here through the Apple website. Um, you know, so far as just as fast as ever. Um, you know, I'm really impressed with how the speed improvements, because especially with the iPod Touch 4th generation, um, beforehand, there were a lot of, there's some bugginess, there's some uh, lag, especially there's a lot of lag when opening some applications. However, for the most part, I've seen that it's pretty much all been erased in 4.2.1. Uh, everything was run very nice and smoothly. Another small new feature is the, the addition of a volume bar. So, as always, you have, you know, when you double tap to enable the multitasking, you can go through your open apps, you can go ahead and, you know, I have a YouTube video, I could be playing it. Um, but the cool thing is you can now go ahead and control your volume. Uh, again, not a huge deal. I prefer to you know, use the buttons probably most of the time. However, it's definitely a nice little feature. So that's it for my overview of iOS 4.2.1. Uh, it's a nice update, uh, especially if you have the iPad, which of course it comes with all of the iOS 4 features. Um, but for the iPhone and the iPod Touch, not a huge deal. Um, AirPlay and AirPrint are both nice. However, they're both fairly limited. I mean, AirPlay... If you have an Apple TV, that's great, but otherwise, there's not a whole lot you can do with it. And same goes with AirPrint, unless you want to get into hacking and everything, uh, unless you have a very few, a small uh, amount of printers that it does support, uh, you're not going to be able to use either. So, eh, not a huge deal. However, it's absolutely worth it from my point of view, just for the speed and stability improvements. Uh, much, like I said, it runs much faster. Everything seems quite a bit snappier, which I am very, very thankful for. Um, standard warning, if you do jailbreak, stay away from this. Uh, there will be a jailbreak, I'm sure, very soon. But um, as always, if you're jailbroken, you update, you will lose your jailbreak, and you might not be able to get it back for a little while. So, you know, guys, definitely keep that in mind.